Hello, welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. Today, I'm going to show you how you can turn your cargo or motorcycle trailer into a camper. My original thought was to haul the motorcycles and stay at cabins in the various state parks. And what I found is those cabins book up right away. So if you're going to go to a state park, you need uh, some type of a travel trailer or a tent or something to sleep in. If you're going to a KOA or one of the other private campgrounds, uh, there's a strong likelihood you can get a cabin. So I had to do a few things to turn this into a camper, and it is the least expensive way to get out there with your bikes. So let's look at some of the changes I had to make. First thing I had to do was cut in a couple windows. This trailer didn't have any windows. So I needed something that would provide some light and that also would help with the ventilation uh, so that I could uh, you know, open the windows and get some air coming through. So that was job number one. It's not fancy, but it works. So we'll go inside and we'll look at the others. Here you can see the window installation. Like I said, it's not fancy, but it works these windows uh, you can you can pop them open of course you can't do it one-handed and you get the screen on the bottom uh, and then the second modification I did is where the uh, regular hatch was I installed this 12 volt fan so this max air fan um, you can just turn on by pushing the button and this will open the uh, top vent and it has a number of different speeds and uh, is really quiet. And that runs on 12 volt. I also added another 12 volt light so that if I'm somewhere where we don't have electric, I can still kind of boondock and use the trailer. Now those are the 12 volt uh, units. And instead of just putting in a battery, I have this Everstart. So it charges up and then this little plug here is how I run the 12 volt accessories. And then if I'm hooked up to electric, because I added electric, I can plug this in and it continuously charges. So I did add a 110 volt or 120 volt system to this bank of plugs. So this is a 12 volt, I mean 120 volt uh, light, and so is this. And you see I do have plugs so I can plug in this electric coffee, uh, electric uh, plate and make my perk coffee. I like perk coffee. That's why you see that. Uh, I also have a cooler in the corner. There's no refrigerator in here, although that would be easy to add. And of course we have the porta potty. Now, to provide some privacy in here, I have a rail and a uh, panel, a curtain panel. And I'm gonna put that up here. So that'll provide some privacy if someone is going to the bathroom. And then these uh, motorcycle chucks, you'll notice there's a pin. So these top pieces come off. So once I'm at my location, and we unload the bikes, I can take those off and you won't smash your feet when you see how we put uh, the beds in here. Originally, I was gonna put uh, collapsible rack bunk beds on one side, but you really can't do that if you're hauling two motorcycles because it sticks out too far from the side. So if you plan on just taking one motorcycle, you can buy online, I think for $300, the rack to build uh, and put a rack of bunk beds on one side. But because I carry two motorcycles in here, I didn't have the room for that, so I went with cots. So I'll show you that in a minute. Let's take a look at the electric outside. So here's where, here's where I put the electric and it's kind of like a machine shop where you're plugging in the plug. I'll show you what I mean. So there's the end, right? So 
so it looks like that. And some of the state parks only have 15 or 20 amp power, so this will work fine for that. If I need to uh, use a 30 amp circuit, it's not a problem. You can buy one of these 30 amp converters and uh, plug it into your line and, and plug it right in. You have no problem. You also see that I have a, um, you put that down. You'll see that I have a generator, uh, 3,500 watts. Uh, this is at my house generator. We're in Pennsylvania. Sometimes on a bad snowstorm or a thunderstorm in the summertime, we lose power. Uh, and this will run the things I need in the house. But I can also take it camping. It'll power easily this whole trailer. Incidentally, um, I do also have heat in there. And for air conditioning, if I'm going south, what I'm going to do is get one of the uh, floor model air conditioners that has like a vent pipe for the window. Uh, and I'll put that on the screen here so you can see what I'm talking about. The only thing I have to do to put air conditioning in here is put a dryer vent on the side. And that air conditioner, I can roll right in there and hook it up because I'm not gonna need that much unless I'm down south in the middle of the summer. But it can get chilly up in the mountains, even in the winter time. And I do have two ceramic heaters. These are Lascos that we can use to uh, warm up the trailer. So I'm going to set up the trailer with the beds so you can see how that looks. Okay, I took the metal plates out and threw the cots in there. So we can check it out and see what you think. So the carpets I got for free, someone was moving. The cots were $49 a piece at Walmart and they include a cushion, they're Coleman cots. So that worked out well. Of course, I have my chair here, put your shoes on. And you see, uh, we still have room up front to negotiate. We could put a chair up here if we wanted, make coffee if it's you know raining or we don't want to get out yet. Uh, you, as you can see, you know, there's plenty of room for two people. If it was just one going, just me going, I have a small wooden table that rolls up that I would put on this side. I want to show you what the trailer on the inside looks like with the back ramp door closed so you can see if it's too claustrophobic for you or not. So in order to see that, we had to close the back door and we'll go in the front door. So here you can see what it looks like on the inside with the back door closed. Now I can add more lights and brighten it up a little bit, uh, but it shows you that it is truly an inexpensive way to get out there and camp with just a little bit of gear. Okay, so a couple things we had to get so we could do this. For me, I bought a stable platform step. I didn't want a skinny one that was going to fall. I've already broken my leg, my left leg twice. I don't want to do that again. So I got this sturdy table or a platform to get up in the unit for, I believe that was $29. Mat to wipe off the mud. Notice I do have an outside carpet. Depending on where you're camping, it could be muddy and this will save you from tracking mud everywhere. So I have that. Um, you'll notice I do have a canopy for outside because I don't have an awning on the trailer. This canopy was on sale for I think $49. So I picked that up, put it up myself, so it's not that difficult. The uh, chairs that I use, you know, you can get these on sale for nine bucks at any Walmart or uh, dollar store especially around the holiday season. Foldable table, they're about 39 bucks. Now, this Coleman stove 
it runs on butane so I buy this by the case uh, and it, the canister fits right inside here and it self starts so that's a good little purchase if you need to buy a, just a one burner grill remember I also have the little electric burner inside so it just gives me another cooking surface to use and then here's my grill slash stove so you can see it's got uh, a spot for a pot or a pan to make things and then it's got the grill to the grill and it runs off of these small propane tanks I buy these in bulk and then it connects right in here in the side so that is how uh, we can cook uh, especially if there's a ban on on having fires and you can't do that then you can use these I do like to cook in Dutch ovens uh, if you haven't seen the video on the cooking a beef stew in a Dutch oven look that one up it'll it'll help you for when you're out there camping you also notice I don't have any water inside it's just a, a cooler that I have in there uh, so I picked up this table I think this was $69 at Cabela's and you can see the drain just goes into a bucket but it does have a faucet that's hooked onto a hose now this is a 50 foot water line hose that I got at Ace Hardware uh, so you can hook that to the campsite if it has water and then you can uh, use this outdoor you know this outdoor area for food prep and you know washing up your dishes uh, whatever you want to do so it gives you an extra surface to clean up now a lot of this gear I will not put in the trailer when I am heading somewhere but remember I have an eight-foot bed on my truck and I have racks for a kayak or a boat so I can put all the uh, the bulkier items in the back of the truck Anything that would be damaged by rain, obviously, I would uh, put inside the trailer. The um, cots ride inside the, the trailer, strapped to the back wall, so they don't interfere with the motorcycles. So that is pretty much how you can camp in your cargo trailer or your motorcycle hauler very inexpensively. You know, you're talking about taking a $4,000 trailer and turning it into a camper for another $1,000. Uh, so a pretty pretty practical way to go see the country. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe. If you ring the bell, you'll be notified every time I put up a, uh, a new video so you can watch us as we start traveling with the motorcycles all over the country. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. That also helps. But more important than all of that, make sure you go have some fun out there. Thanks for watching.